Hey, so we have a little hack for a chainsaw. Uh, especially if you got new guys running around with your chainsaws, yanking on the chainsaw like this. Instead of pulling straight out, you know, see that little grommet right here? Instead of pulling straight through that, you know, to increase the longevity of your cord, you get guys that are doing crazy stuff like yanking it straight to the side like this all the time. Well, what happens when you when you do that? Uh, you guys, you guys have all yanked the cord way too hard before, um, and it's snapped. Not just pulled out of the pulley, but snapped on the cord. But what I do is I get a little bit of um, beeswax. This is for hair. Um, but if you go to like an arborist supply or a boot supply, uh, sorry, a boot source where they sell boots, they have waterproofing and uh, leather dressing, which is made out of beeswax. And I just found this out the other day. I've been doing this on my ax handles and uh, like baseball bats and boots and, uh, and, and strings for anything that has a pull start for a long time. What you do is this. Take your beeswax, take a paper towel. All right, get your paper towel, get some. See, you don't you don't need a ton, just a little bit like this. And you pull your chain your chainsaw. Okay, usually you pull it all the way out, but I already did it, so I'm just gonna show you like this. Sorry guys, I'm holding the phone. Go like this, and you get it all on it. And you just rub it in, like this. Because remember guys, chainsaws, chainsaws are hot inside, okay? And look, it kind of, it lubes up that hole, right? Keep the comments to your, keep the adult comments to yourself, guys. I like to have uh, kids watch this channel too. So see, it kind of just dresses the cord and keeps it from drying out. So that's what I do. Oh, by the way, guys, this is a little echo 2511T or something like that knockoff. Um, it's made me thousands and thousands of dollars so far. Um, it came with a little 10 inch bar, uh, which is right here. Let me show you. Oh, my, my rigging's getting wet. No. We dodged the rain the last like three days and uh, boy. It's coming down today. Oh, and look what else we bought for the last job. The steel PP800. This is a glorious tool. I like that it has these little cutouts right here so that the chips can go somewhere. It's got a hook and it's got a little blade here so you can attach the pruner. Uh, but check this out. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Came with this little 10 inch bar on it. And it was good when I was first, you know, doing pruning down here for little small stuff. And then I got into bigger things and I couldn't, you know, where you're reaching way over and I was uh, doing unsafe things, having to cut too many times and having a hard time lining up my undercuts. So we went ahead and put a little 14 on there, Oregon bar, sprocket nose, fits nice. I do want to put a 0.325 sprocket on this. You know, get a little bit more narrow of a curve, but I like it. Pretty much, it ran just the same. I just had to lean out the uh, lean out the the high jet a little bit and put I put a little hole in the bottom here. It helps it breathe better and it pulls it. It really does. I just got to make my filing a little bit more modest. You see. Let me show you the filing here. This is a...
But yeah, guys, we're, we're just shopping in some stuff here. And we had a, on the Husky here, the uh, 450, we got the full house chain back on it here. Put a fresh file on that as well. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm trying, trying to film in a different, different way here. Um, because we had we got Kyle running a power saw and uh, he was doing some some rookie stuff, uh, but he's learning very fast, way faster than any guy I've ever had help me on trees. But he was using this skip tooth here, and now he turned it into a really skip tooth. We got a tooth, we got a tooth, no tooth raker, no tooth raker, tooth. <laughs> But he was hitting the ground with that, so we had to pull, we had to pull that right off. Um, his filing was good. His first filing was good. It just didn't stay sharp for very long. Um, it started to produce sawdust, and uh, that's annoying. You guys know you get it floating around everywhere. And But um, the 660, I call it Old Blue, has been a dream. Let's check out this filing here. been a dream so far i barely have two tanks run through it so i haven't even really poured it I haven't really even been too hard on it yet i like it I mean, this saw is very heavy. It's 92 cc, um, and I should have gotten a light a light bar. Um, only adjustment I've done so far to it has been uh, I leaned out both the low and the high jet because it was just way too rich. And I am running them more rich than than I would once it's broken in, um, and I'm running a little bit more lube in it. Um, as well, but it's been a great, great little saw. No leaks or anything. The only complaints I saw about these clones has been gas cap leaks and uh, no, I guess the earlier ones that they used to make didn't have a chain break, but this one does and it works very well. Um, so also what I did was I opened up the plate here. Um, I took the face plate off and there is a spark arrestor in there that was really, really restrictive. All this 92 cc was forced to go through just three little holes like this. I said, no, 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 no way. I put about eight more holes on the inside and then put two right here. And uh, after every hole that I made, I put it back on and did a couple test cuts. And uh, it, it kept cutting better and better and better. And I had to just keep on, um, you know, adjusting the carburetor, but it's, it's a beaut. I love it. This saw is great. And I love not having a uh, primer. It's amazing. I hate primers. You gotta always have some on backup because they, uh, you know, they start leaking. And once they leak, then you get air in your line and it doesn't run very well. I've just been running the uh, Pro Select Lowe's or whatever brand of, of, of bar oil. It works really good. My gaffs, the tree gaffs are just the cheap old Evoke um, climbing spurs. They're really getting worn out. Um, I've had to file them a, a, a few times. I've done about a mile and a half on concrete. <laughs> um, my ropes, as far as my rigging goes. I just bought this the other day. This is just a little cheap little saddle here with a, with a bridge on it. I, I got that because the other day we were doing a tree that was leaning over a house like this and there was nothing to rig to above it to tie myself in. So I had to tie myself in really far away. So I was lanyarding up this tree, right? Leaning forward like this, lanyarding on the tree and I was slipping left and right. So I put that belt on backwards with the bridge on the back and I tied myself to something back there. So I had a little bit of pullback. I could have hooked to the bridge in the front, but I don't like having that pulling that, that horizontally back on me. So. That worked really nice. I had some good balance that way. Um, I just have this DeWalt bag for my uh, for my you know blocks and my pulleys and singing rope wrenches and all my um, hitch cords, um, wire core lanyard, 
mechanical prusik or whatever you want to call it. Um, some more rig and rope. Nine or eight nine millimeter. Um, this is my 15 foot lanyard. I use that, you know, when I'm not climbing off a lifeline. It's really really handy. Um, this rope right here we bought just to rig some. It's not rated or anything like that. I think it's boat rope. Um, we bought this rope from. Uh, I believe Northern Tool. No, no. What was it? We bought that rope off of... Oh, it was... Dang. No, it wasn't Northern Tool. It's the other cheap one. Harbor Freight. Yeah, we bought this rope off Harbor Freight. It was rated for 275 pounds. It is 18, 18 cords inside with double braid on the outside. I bought it for $50. I've pulled trees over with this thing from with the hooked up to the truck. Um, I'll put the video in there. Big limbs, running along bark. I'll put it through carabiners, I'll put it through pulleys. This thing is tough. Um, this is my climbing rope, 12 millimeter. Um, it's more like 10, I think they lied. Here's a, the first harness I ever had. It's like rock climbing. It's got a single, it's got D, two Ds on the side. It's got a single, single middle point no bridge i hate that um i use suspenders with my climbing gear let me show you this this is my harness here you know it, the let i'm six four so the the leg loops are a little low um but i got a bridge that i can go back and forth on my notch wedge going in the tree, you know, I can, so my bar doesn't get cut. A couple of lanyards, uh, sorry, a couple little slings. I can wrap them around the tree and use them to step on. I can use them for rigging. Um, my hand saw. Um, and like I said, suspenders. Because when you're climbing up and you got stuff in a chainsaw and rigging rope hanging off you, it's nice to have the support over your shoulders. But yeah, guys, I just figured it's a rainy day. I figured I would uh, make a quick video, show you guys what some of my things are. If you guys want to see some more detail of our tree work stuff, go ahead and uh, put it in the comments. I'll go over how I actually, um, how I climb. But I hope you guys are taking care of your families. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're uh, practicing love and being kind to each other. Um, stay positive. If you guys are still on lockdown, it's, it's a wild time. Um, I've been slowing down the content a little bit, still posting at least once a week, but slowing down just a little bit because the boy, um, he's a little over a month old now, and boy, is he going crazy, eating constantly. But uh, shout out to you moms. I know it's tough for you moms. Pumping, breastfeeding, you know, the, the whole nine. So anybody that's out there still working and, and, you know, trying to raise a family, best wishes, you know, just keep going, keep, keep doing what you're doing and don't let anybody make you feel bad about your choices and what you need to do what's right for you and your family. Everybody's different. But anyways, guys, this is just a little uh, tidbit for you. Hope you all are well. Take care.